Welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about turning left at traffic lights. We will look at how to establish properly when turning left at the traffic lights and what are the critical errors when establishing. Now, before we go in the car, it's very important to go through the theory part first to completely understand the concept. So let's look at the theory part first and then we will go in the car to look at some real life examples. All right, folks, uh, so we're just going to look at the basic um, intersection first. And uh, after that, we will also look at some um, real life examples. Now, before we um, look at the basic intersection, I just want to point out that in my full online program i go in a lot of details on the left turns because honestly there are a lot of different situations so if you have like let's say 30 different situations what's that mean to you is actually that you can fail your driving test 30 times okay because let's say in the driving lessons you do 10 um left turns and every single time if you have a different situation but now you still have 20 more situations that you haven't encountered in the driving lesson and you might get actually one of those situations that you haven't encountered in the driving lesson so when you go for your test the situation might be totally new for you and if you do something wrong and then boom that's gonna be automatic fail so the free lessons you're getting they are actually very small portion of the online video program um, that I have for sale $99 and in the program I go in a lot of details cover pretty much you know like all the possible situation that I know of and uh, when you know all the different situations that's gonna expand your knowledge and um, it's gonna you know give you more confidence when you go for your driving test and it will maximize your chances of passing your driving test the very first time so uh, let's uh, let's look at some basic uh, examples first so I'm just going to draw a basic intersection here okay so we will just uh, draw a basic intersection um, let's say you have a yellow line in the middle okay so all the sides you have a yellow line now when you establish if you are the first car uh, as you're driving towards the intersection your light is green you are the first car that means you always have to establish if you don't establish in the intersection that's going to be automatic fail now the tricky part is if you don't establish properly that's also automatic fail a lot of time what happens like students they will think like they establish properly but in reality they do something wrong like they stop too soon or they go too far in the intersection and that's going to cause some interference with other traffic and that will give you automatic fail so the first thing that you need to do is as you're going in the intersection we want to find the center of the intersection the middle of the intersection so if you have yellow lines you can extend the yellow lines that's going to give you the middle of the intersection so this plus sign is the middle of the intersection now first i am going to actually show you how to establish properly and after that we will look at some examples like common automatic fails what people do wrong and then get automatic fail okay so let's uh, let's look at um, how to establish properly first so when you establish you want to stop before the middle of the intersection so before the middle of the intersection means the front end of your car like your car it should look something like this okay now a lot of people they like to draw a line this way okay so when you establish you're not going over the line like you're not going too much on this side here now obviously guys my sketch is not to scale all right but you will get the idea so yeah so you can draw a line this way and at the same time so you're not going on the other side so when you establish you always stay on the left side of the intersection some people they also like to draw a box this way okay so at the same time you're like inside the box and uh, you're not going on the other side now so when you're uh, when you're sitting here in the middle what you're doing is you're observing traffic light right now you're checking three things you're checking traffic light you're checking traffic coming from this side here and you're also checking pedestrians on the 
crosswalk here or on the sidewalk right so sometimes now uh, it depends on the situation sometimes your light gonna change first if you see amber light then you observe oncoming traffic if they're slowing down you can go um, but if you let's say your light is still green if you see a big gap between the traffic uh, that time you can go and we will look at some real life examples as well um, so it will make total sense now let's look at some of the critical errors okay so what people do wrong um, in the driving test so going back to the same basic intersection okay now I'm just gonna draw a stop line here so let's say this black line here is your stop line now sometimes students they only go uh, let me just change the color here so sometimes students only go a little bit in the intersection so what they do they would stop like this now guys this this is automatic fail because you did not actually establish properly you did not you did not go far enough in the intersection okay uh, if you stop like this the guy behind you might start honking and that's gonna you know that that will give you automatic fail so make sure you stop before the middle of the intersection like this all right now the other common automatic fail when establishing is actually going too far in the intersection so sometimes students they would actually stop like this okay now the problem with uh, stopping here that uh, you're blocking this traffic now so if somebody from this side wants to make a left turn they got no room because you are actually pretty much on their side so you're interfering with the traffic that's gonna give you automatic fail and the other problem establishing like this is when you clear the intersection your turn will be actually too wide so you're gonna pretty much go like this okay so you are uh, you're too far from the center line here so that's also um, um, critical error all right um, it's it could be a minor mistake it depends like depends on the situation let's say if you have two lanes on this side and if you go in the second lane here then it's critical error but if you go in the first lane here but you're just far from the center of the street then it's a general error and again we look at a lot of examples like this one in the online training program um, in in a lot of detail the other problem with uh, going too far actually so let's say you establish like this now the guy behind you in real life we all know that people a lot of people they don't follow the rules okay so we see like two or three cars in the intersection but technically there should be only one car in the intersection at a time from your side okay so let's say if you notice there's already one car established in the intersection then you stay behind the stop line if you follow that car if you establish behind that car that's also critical error so if now going back to the other situation so if you let's say if this is you now you went too far in the intersection what's gonna happen the guy behind you he gonna actually pull in the intersection as well so he will because you're leaving a lot of open space behind you so he gonna come in the intersection now if light turns amber what's gonna happen is now because this guy is stuck in the intersection as well now at the same time you are trying to go in the first lane and at the same time now this guy is trying to go in the first lane as well because your light is already amber or red so he wants to clear the intersection as well and that's going to create dangerous situation uh, interference um, because you did not establish properly so that will be automatic fail as well okay see how uh, how we are looking at all different situations now the other situation will be uh, if you have a yellow line here and if you establish instead of uh, keeping your car straight like this okay now let's say maybe you angled your car when you establish maybe you established like this now the front end of your car is actually blocking this traffic here right because you went uh, you you went over the yellow line so you're pretty much in this lane here so you're gonna interfere with uh, with this traffic here so that will give you automatic fail as well now this one guys uh, this one is just a basic intersection we are looking at um, so let's uh, let's look at another example actually um, let's say instead of yellow line you have a divider in the middle so divider on this side ok 
okay same thing here so you got a divider in the middle now things are little bit different the concept is still same uh, but you have to be careful with where you stop in the intersection when you establish where exactly you stop because same idea you don't want to go too far in the intersection at the same time you don't want to stop too soon so in this situation what I suggest is um, you can see the edge of the curve here you can actually extend that okay like this and then you stop before the curb because you want to this way like you're leaving a lot of um, space on this side for this traffic to go left if you move forward okay so let's say if you go exactly in the middle of the intersection like this now this traffic they won't be able to go so you're going to interfere with this traffic and that's going to cause automatic fail all right um, and same thing when you establish you want to keep your car straight if you are um, stopping at an angle like this then you're interfering with uh, this traffic here and that will be automatic fail as well the other common automatic fail is um, going in the wrong lanes so let's say on this side here if you have uh, two lanes like this so you always take your first lane first okay come on okay yeah so if you go in the second lane by mistake like this that's going to be automatic fail because you're supposed to go into this lane all right so let's look at another example here so let's say now we have uh, in on on your side uh, you have a divider uh, let me change the color so you have a divider on this side as well okay now the situation is little bit different okay um, now this one is still same so you can draw a line this way so we don't want to go over this line okay but but now pay attention guys this is this is important that uh, when you establish now in this situation you don't keep your car straight when you establish since like you have a divider on this side here you're gonna actually stop at an angle so you would actually stop like this okay and if somebody wants to turn left from this side they will do exactly same thing they're gonna angle they will go sideways they're gonna angle their car all right um, now at the same time you you don't want to go in in their lane okay so you you want to extend this curb here uh, just uh, you know just draw like imaginary line from this curb and on the front end of your car it should not go past when you establish it should not go past that that line so for what I mean by that like if you establish like let's say like this same idea now you're interfering with this traffic this is very important guys a um, lot of lot of people fail this because they don't understand the concept um, they don't look at all different situations so if you if you understand all possible situations it doesn't matter where you take your driving test you will succeed okay and think about like after the driving test right we are um, we are not we don't just care about the driving test yes like we want to get our license but what about after the driving test uh, driving test when we start driving with uh, with the friends you know with our friends family members um, you, you want to be safe on the road and um, the only way to do that is by getting a lot of practice uh, understanding all different situations and um, and that's where this online training comes in so we will look at like pretty much every single situation and uh, you know I'm going to give you a lot of examples uh, that's gonna expand uh, expand your knowledge so uh, that's it uh, for this one and uh, I'm just going to add some real life example uh, as well so you can um, whatever we covered here so that will make more sense to you thank you very much and uh, yeah we'll see you guys again
right, folks. Uh, so we're gonna look at some real life examples now. Uh, we are turning left at the traffic lights. So when you're about 30 meters uh, from the intersection, that's when you put the signal on. And um, now what I do when I'm waiting for the green light, I always like to plan everything. So right now there are a lot of cars on the other side. This red car is going straight. That means I have to establish. If I don't establish, that's gonna be automatic fail. Now I have to stop before the middle of the intersection. If I go too far on the other side, that's also automatic fail. Now when I am, um, waiting here i'm checking uh, traffic light i'm observing traffic now i see a big gap between the traffic that's when i go and there's no pedestrian crossing so i go into this first lane here if i go in the second lane that's also automatic fail okay and um, so let's try that again so we will turn left on this intersection here so this time the light is green i am the first car so if i stop behind the stop line that's automatic fail so that means i have to establish okay and uh, looks like after this red car here now there's no more traffic coming so that means i have to go right way if i don't go there's no pedestrian if i don't clear the intersection on time that's also automatic fail so a lot of different situations definitely uh, left turns are a lot trickier so you do have to practice a lot okay so this time uh, we see a lot of traffic now uh, it's um almost uh, four o'clock so um, rush hour which is good uh, good for practice um, this time uh, we are turning left at the traffic lights now the silver car uh, doesn't have any signal on so looks like they are going straight but uh, we will see sometimes people put the signal uh, when they get closer to the intersection so my signal is on right now all the cars they were going straight uh, now the light is green so that means i have to establish if i don't establish that's gonna be uh, automatic fail so i establish and i'm stopping in the before the middle of the intersection right now i'm observing traffic light i'm checking traffic if i see a big gap between the traffic that time i can go or sometimes the light gonna change first uh, we still have a lot of traffic coming so maybe the light will change first uh, we just have to see that uh, silver car is still going straight but looks like after the silver car i'm good to go and there's no pedestrian crossing on this side okay ready go so if i hesitate over there uh, hesitation is also automatic fail so i'm going uh, in the left turning lane here so this time uh, situation is pretty much same thing here the light is green and that means i have to go in the intersection and establish now the difference is there is a pedestrian crossing as well after the silver car i will go because the next car is too far pedestrian already crossed so that means that's a perfect time for me to clear the intersection if i hesitate over there definitely that's going to be a deduction and uh, too much hesitation will become um, critical error So let's look at some more left turn examples so here we are turning left this intersection is totally empty green light no pedestrian no oncoming traffic that means i don't need to stop uh, before the stop line or in the intersection because everything is clear um, intersection is totally clear that means i just have i can just go through if i stop over there uh, that's going to be a critical error so these are guys these are all different uh, situations that you can encounter um, when turning left at the traffic light so you want to make sure you know you can possibly go through all these uh, different situations before you go for your driving test and um, and that's where my online training program comes in if you buy the full version it's uh, $99 that's where I talk a lot uh, about you know all different situations and um, this um, free driving lessons that you're getting they're very small part of the online training program so in the online training program i go in very detail talk about you know almost every single situation the critical errors and how to do everything properly so right now we are just waiting for the green light and um, i still see a walking man sign in that small screen over there so that means it's gonna take a while for the light to turn green so when you're waiting for the green light you can already start planning everything so right now i don't see any uh, oncoming traffic over there and uh, there's no pedestrian on the side so that means as soon as the light turns green i can go right way um, 
so i like to plan ahead that way there's no hesitation in the driving because right now there is a car behind me actually so if i don't like let's say if the light turns green and if i'm not paying attention uh, i hesitate a little bit the guy behind me he gonna start honking and that will become critical error so it looks like the night light gonna change now so uh, we are just waiting for the green light ready go see as soon as the light turns green i'm good to go because still there's no car there's no pedestrian so there's no hesitation ready go so that's uh, left turn is complete let's look at uh, some more examples turning left at the traffic lights so I will put my left blinker on light is red so I'm going to make a full stop before the stop line here just waiting for the light to turn green now so this time uh, I am the first car uh, so as soon as the light turns green we do have uh, two cars already on the other side and now there's uh, more traffic coming so that means I have to establish when the light on screen, I have to establish. If I don't establish, that's gonna be automatic fail. And there should be only one car established at a time, but this time I'm the first car, so I have to go in the intersection. Now the light on screen, so I'm going to establish. Establish means you stop before the middle of the intersection as we saw in the examples. Now I'm just gonna wait here, wait for the traffic to be cleared. And at the same time, before I start moving from here, I'm observing, I'm checking traffic, uh, pedestrians on that side. Looks like after this car, we are good to go. So no more oncoming traffic, no pedestrians crossing and ready go speed limit sign 50 kilometers so i can speed up to 45 or 50 right way Do another left turn at the traffic light so left signal shoulder check and now we are in the left turning lane and i will put left blinker back on now this car are uh, two mistakes with this truck uh, one mistake uh, he's too far from the divider there uh, second mistake he doesn't have any signal on right now i see a green arrow there uh, if the arrow stays green that means i can go so i'm already past the stop line the arrow is still green so that means i'm getting the priority so green arrow turning signal will give you priority if you see a green arrow that means you go first but if the arrow changes because sometimes as you're driving towards the intersection the arrow will change from green it's gonna turn into amber now it depends on the situation if you're behind the stop line when the arrow turns amber and the, there is still solid green light that means you can establish but on the other side if the arrow like if you're already in the middle of the intersection when the arrow turns amber that means you can still go through the intersection because you don't want to slam on the brakes so we are just waiting for uh, this uh, pedestrian here yeah so that's a perfect example of uh, you know uh, different situations as i said like road test is all about encountering different situations so here uh, we got the right of where this red car should pull back okay ready go there's no speed limit sign so speed limit on this street is uh, 50 kilometers
we are turning left at the traffic light so I'm staying in the left lane my left signal is on now here's guys uh, another uh, different situation here now this red car is also turning left so we just have to see what he's doing uh, if he stop in the middle of the intersection that means I have to stay behind the stop line there should be only one car established in the middle of the intersection uh, from your side okay in real life we see like two or three cars established at the same time but that's all wrong uh, if I follow this car uh, if I establish uh, behind him that's gonna be critical error so now the light is green uh, we uh, we just have to see so I'm just gonna I do see uh, traffic on the other side so that means he's gonna stop in the middle so I will stop here and now he's going and the light is still green that's when I start moving because it's very important for me to start moving that time because there is traffic behind me as well okay if I don't move at that time the guy behind me he gonna start honking and that will become critical error so a lot of different situations that we are seeing very very good examples and that's what you you know that's um, what you need to understand before you go for your driving test all these different situations and if you haven't gone through all the different situations then you know in when you go for your driving test maybe you will get a unique situation and that's where you will get that situation based automatic fail so here we have a green light we're gonna establish here I'm just waiting for the traffic to be cleared um, and at the same time I'm also checking pedestrians on the side here so it looks like after this uh, green van that's when I should be able to go light is still green uh, traffic is now the next car is too far there's no more pedestrian crossing on the side so that means uh, I'm good to go I should not hesitate over there see how easy it's to drive when you already know everything now if you do this for every single thing left turns right turns lane change roundabout one-way streets parking lot doesn't matter everything I promise you are gonna pass your driving test like this easy easy pass okay now the big question is how would you know all the critical errors before you even go for your driving test well you have two options option number one is you can practice and practice for hours and hours go through almost all the possible different situations and understand what you should be doing and what you should not be doing you can take driving lessons to do this but let's be honest here most people they don't have time they got no money for unlimited lessons so here's the second option for you guys you can simply buy this online training program that I put together. In this online training program, I talk about the situation-based critical errors, standard critical errors, general errors in detail. And I will explain almost all the critical errors for left turns, right turns, lane change, roundabout, one-way streets, merging, yielding, parking lot. So pretty much everything that's required to successfully pass your driving test. So it doesn't matter where you take your driving test, you will already know almost all the standard critical errors and situation based critical errors before you go for your driving test. And you will get hours and hours of excellent training in a very structured way to help you pass your driving test and you only pay $99 for it. So that's it, just $99 and you will get to know almost all the critical errors before you go for your driving test. Guys, that's gonna maximize your chances of passing your driving test the first time. Now, when you know everything, even after getting your license, all the information, it's gonna stay with you. So when you drive with your friends, your family members, you will stay safe on the road so buy the online training program right now and ace your driving test the very first time thank you very much and i will see you guys again